and we're back. It's the end of the season. Well, for me, anyways. So, uh, just showing you guys. I'm still picking peppers. I still, I got this little bag right here. Beautiful. Look at all those. Um, still got some peppers on the on the plants, but it's the end of my season, and um, you know, it's it's the way I designed it. I, I just I did not fertilize these plants at all. I put some bone meal and some blood meal in the uh, soil. And they took off, and I got tons of pods from them for months on end. And then I, I just left them and let nature take its course. But uh, that's why you see the plants are looking all scraggly. Um, I stopped weeding the garden. That gold, look at those golden primatales right there, though. Some yellow scorpions back there. So yeah, I still got pods. Uh, I actually pulled one plant out already. For this little. This little thing hiding down there. I think I'm gonna overwinter that. I'm not gonna overwinter. I think I'm actually gonna chop it down and bring it inside and put it under a light because it's so short. I might be able to get pods off it in the winter. But yeah, I mean, I pretty much picked, almost picked these dry a minute ago, but there's still pods. So end of the season, uh, this is what happens when you just let your plants burn out. You're still getting pods. I still got some green ones on there, you know, but some of them didn't do that great. This is that T-Rex mustard. Uh, I don't know why. I got a buddy that's growing them too, and he says his production wasn't that great on them. Um, so, but you know, it is what it is. It could just be growing conditions. I don't know. That's the gator jigsaw plant there. Picked it, picked it dry. You know, it's all good though. But this white knight back there, look at. I just picked a bunch of white knights. There's still a ton on there, so. That's a good plant. I actually have one in front of my uh, condo that I chopped it down just to a couple of stems. Um, and it regenerated and it's got flowers now. I've actually seen the first pot appear on it. I'm going to actually take those inside whole, put them in my window, and just see if they'll finish out. You know, I might be able to have some pods in, maybe in December. Um, but we'll see. It's all... All experimental. Those purple peach reapers, though. Come on. See, so I just wanted to show you guys, end of the season. Um, now, we still got some time before the first frost. It could be another month from now. Uh, it could be another three weeks from now. It could be another six weeks from now. Last year, the frost came in late. But uh, I'm, I'm just tired. I've been doing this for so, so long. And I'm just, you know, I got so many peppers uh, in my freezer everywhere people sending me peppers <clears throat> i don't need them so yeah and this was also an experiment this is my first time in raised beds i wanted to get the soil nice and not a nutrients in it and then just see how long it would last and um so i found out yeah the plants started looking scraggly a little bit about three weeks ago and um you know now they're getting a little more yellow this is an overwinter if you see the size of that stalk that's from last year. That's the yellow scorpion. I think I'm going to bring that in. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to cut that down and just a, one or two stems and bring that baby in for the winter and uh, let it rip again next year and see what the third year does. But anyways, end of my season. Yeah.